Hey, so welcome back to the Horrible Show. My name is Tanner. Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to cut her out. Uh, so we got two Shocktober sales going on. It's really early in the morning. It's like uh, 6.30. It's not too, too early. Um, but I got my coffee. Uh, this is going to be just kind of like a chill. I got both the Shocktober, the Scream Factory, and the Arrow Video websites pulled up. Um, and I'm going to just kind of go over and just kind of give my two cents on like prices and stuff like that. If you're cleaning or doing something, if you need something on in the background, it's kind of, uh, but there were some, all right, let's, uh, let's start off with the arrow. Let me turn on my screen capture. Let me turn on my sc screen capture. Hello, my friends, we'll meet again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, there we go. Screen capture is on. I'm so sorry for the creed. Uh, sometimes you just got to sing some creed. Um, sometimes you just got to live your life. And say, Kiki says hi. She says hi. She can't hear. She was born deaf. So we're not going to bother her. All right, so I got the arrow video. Let's start off with some arrow. And let's see what's going on here. Uh, so they got the Shaw Scope Volume 2, limited edition, 100 bucks. It's pretty good. Um, they got the... Let me see if I can get a little bit more comfortable. Actually, that's not too bad. Um, I got the, the... What's really tempting... I'm so broke right now. I think it's just cost of living and all that stuff going up. So whoever's... Who knows? When? When is this... Maybe this will tell me when they go off, but uh, if it if it comes through next payday, I might pick up something, but um, not right now. <laughs> All right, so the Empire Screams. Empire Screams going for 40 bucks. It's a pretty good price. Um, you got some other Shaw Brothers collections. Um, pretty good price, 30 bucks. Um, I'm tempted to see what the, okay, Mall Rats, the 4K of Mall Rats 25. You want a chocolate covered pretzel? Okay, the limited edition still too. Twelve Monkeys underrated. The older I get, the less people talk about that. I'm glad that Twelve Monkeys got a good release from Arrow for twenty bucks. That's pretty good. You could you could probably get that Blu-ray if you just want the Blu-ray for a little bit cheaper. That's probably a good plan too. Tremors twenty five. I'm still kind of apprehensive. I love the first Tremors movie. I'm still kind of apprehensive to like pay 20 bucks or 25 bucks for the first movie because I'm cheap man sometimes in this in this biz you got to stay cheap or you're gonna just burn out and be super broke and I'm already super broke so what does that tell you that shock blu-ray that's a great release it's got some great special features on there um yeah I definitely recommend that one uh Mario Bava with some help of Lamberto Bava, help directing a little bit. Um, what's in this Giallo Essentials blue? Okay, all right, you got the Death Walks movies and then uh, Forbidden Suspicion, Lady, blah, 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 long name. Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Um, so that's pretty good. Shit, 35 bucks, it's pretty good for those, for the Blu-rays of those. You know, I haven't seen David Lynch's Dune. I need to change that. Um, Pitch Black. I remember going to see Pitch Black in the movie theater. I liked Pitch Black. Um, I still haven't seen any of the sequels, but I liked the first one. 25 bucks for the 4K. That's pretty cool. Oh, our, 25 bucks for the art original version of... Uh, Deep Red, get that, bro. True Romance, great movie. Um, and I'm still, I'm still tempted to upgrade from mine. In the comment section, if you, if you got the True Man, True Romance release, if you got the True Romance release, let me know. Um, because I've got the the Quentin Tarantino Blu-ray box set, and it's in there. Um, it's not the best copy of True Romance, but. Um, yeah, just let me know if the, the features are good, you know. I 
I'm sorry, I have a feeling this video is going to be very long. 20 bucks for the 4K bird with the crystal plumage? Absolutely. Okay, now I keep on forgetting they put out Nightmare at Noon as well. I know that was the, uh, I think Scream Factory had the rights for that real quick. Or a while back. That Django release is really good. I recommend that. So it looks like overall, looking, I know we're on the second page, but overall, prices are pretty good. Um, which is nice because a lot of these sales, the prices aren't very good. If them, you know, um, sometimes they'll just be like what you could go and get them on Amazon. And I'm sure, and see, these are cheaper. Maybe the Blu-rays are probably closer to the Amazon price. Now, 15 bucks for Versus, that's good. It's probably like closer to 20 on Amazon. So it really looks like the 4Ks are doing pretty good. It looks like you can get a standard version of most of the 4Ks for either 20 or 25 bucks. And that's cool. I'm cool with that. Hills of Eyes, I haven't upgraded that yet. Um, man, that Dark Water, Water release, that's a good one. That Children of the Corn, I need to get that box set. I don't know if that's a Region B, just Region B, uh, with two and three. And I know that uh, Ringu is getting uh, a 4K release, if, even if it might even already be out. Um, but man, I love this freaking box set for 40 bucks. That's my my number one recommendation because uh, I really love those movies. I really like the special features on there. I think the special features are really good. So it comes with technically it comes with four movies. Um, they they did Ringu and then they did uh, Ringu two and then they did uh, what is this? They did a movie called Spiral, which. <laughs> They did a movie called Spiral before Ringu 2. And they were like, oh, uh, let's just revamp this whole thing. All right, let's, it's the Kiki show now. She likes this ring light. Uh, but yeah, I recommend it. Anything Mike Takashi, I recommend. If you got that Django, 17 bucks, pretty good. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of Wild Things. I didn't think, you know, you know I think everybody's a certain, to a certain amount is a fan of Wild Things, but I didn't think, you know, I remember, like, because my dad gave zero Fs uh, growing up. So I remember, I remember being like 10 watching Wild Things. It's like, bro and uh yeah but that like it's just okay i guess i don't know maybe i'm just being a hater maybe i'm just a hater this is another box set i need to get i need to get the cold war creatures um so let's say if money's right a little while next week next payday i might be able to catch me a couple of these little box sets uh going around here yeah. you're all right you're all right And this is another one of the, uh, the house that screamed and hell high. I would like to get a copy of for 20 bucks. Not too bad. Strip, for, strip nude for your killer. That's always probably a good one. Um, even 16 candles. That's good. Um, I think for strip nude, uh, for your killer. I think I have the blue, blue underground release. Man, I love this movie. I love the first house. It's so good. So cheesy. Um, but I got the, uh, they put out the arrow, put out a box set, which I just heard that like, um, I didn't know that it had like aspect, uh, ratio issues. So I thought that was kind of weird. I didn't notice anything myself. So All right, what are we at? 10 minutes. You know I'm always gonna recommend the Argento ones, uh, Creepshow 2, but I feel like Creepshow 2 is gonna get probably a 4K soon. I would not be surprised because I know that one would probably sell. I love Creepshow 2, man. Um, Cat of Nine Tails, I love that one. That might be my least favorite of the like earlier Argento movies though. Like the first like 15 years of his career, probably my least favorite, but 
What can you do? Bloody birthday. Underrated. Shout out to uh, Kirsten for that. I didn't know about uh, Bloody Birthday and how like crazy good it was. Uh, she recommended it on my Instagram. I'm on Instagram. If you guys ever want to chat, if you ever want to send uh, recommendations my way or anything like that, um, hit me up. Um, that being said, if you like a horrible show, like and subscribe, you know, blah, 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 blah. I love you. All right, let's see what's in this Giallo Essentials Red. What's in here? All right, Possessed. All these prices, uh, 35 bucks for three Blu-rays? Pretty good, man. Um, uh, Pajama Gaze Girl, is that? Pajama Girl Gaze. Uh, Fifth Chord, I already have. I don't have the Possessed. So uh, there's two movies that I'm missing in there. So even the deep red Blu-ray, pretty good. Girls Night Out, pretty good. I have the, I believe it's Second Sight, the first three basket case of films, but I feel like that's gonna be, those are pretty popular films. I feel like those will get a new release here soon. Y'all please don't mind me if I'm going super fast. Uh, don't Torture Duckling, recommend. Uh, American Werewolf I recommend Solid Metal Nightmares I recommend uh, I don't have that Robocop I, I have the Old, old um, It's either, I think it's Universal Like The, the collection Of 1, 2, and 3 So the Vengeance Is this the one, uh, the Vengeance Trial That's got uh, Yeah, it's got Fulci Western in it I would say that's probably the biggest highlight for me in there if you pick that up, Alice Sweet Alice, pick that up. I recommend that. I recommend that Doom Asylum. So seven, it looks like 17. 17 bucks is gonna be the standard. Uh, the, bow, the Battles of uh, Honor and uh, Humanity, got those. Uh, I, I keep on forgetting they made it like a, oh, they put them all in one set, huh? I got them all in like, they made a box set and then they re-released the box set and then they just had them like singly. I think I have them just singly, but I have all of them. The One Miscall trilogy. I would love for Arrow to do the Eye trilogy. There's so many foreign films that I would, I would love Arrow to do the, the treatment for him. Cause man, if you want the weird Wisconsin, I haven't dipped my toes into any of these movies, but 50 bucks is pretty good. Waterworld, you know, I think I've only seen that once. I keep on hearing good things about uh, this movie called Sleep. I need to check it out. Um, and it looks like they definitely got some Arrow Academy in there. Um, Arrow Academy's got some um, alternatives to, uh, they might even be just Region B, but some of the Criterion Collection. Um, I think I've got, was it Valerie and A Week of Wonders? I think I got the Arrow Academy version, not the Criterion. Uh, Season of the Witch, I still need to pick up. I think that's like one of the only uh, Romero movies I still need. Uh, I want to pick up that Weird Science too. Ooh, eh, 14 minutes. Mutilator's always good. The second one's coming out soon, I hear. Um, a lot from the Piz, uh, uh, Pizal, his channel. Uh, Torso's great. I hear, I hear this movie, Two Witches, is very di divisive. Divisive. I know a lot of people that love it, a lot of people that don't uh, necessarily like it. I thought Suspicious Death of a Minor was pretty good. Uh, initiation, Initiation of uh, Sarah. That's a, I believe that's a TV movie, but... Um, I might have something else that's got, I might have like a DVD that's got a copy of that on there. I don't know, I don't know why I'm whispering. Dead and Driving is good. All right, oh look, yeah, so, Battles uh, Without Honor and uh, Humanity. So some of them are even going for five bucks. I think that's where I picked them up. 
Okay, we got some. All right, so Children of the Corn Blu-ray, 10 bucks. It's pretty good. All right, so it looks like some of these are getting even cheaper. Um, I still need to pick up Scalpel. Society, I think that's like a must. Uh, must own. It's a good copy of Society. Let me see. Microwave Massacre. How has anybody? Seen, I haven't seen that. Is it any good? Is it just the name and the cover are the best things about it? Driller Killer. Sometimes that's a tough one to watch just because it's like super low budget. Y'all don't mind me if I'm going fast. I just don't want this one to be like an hour long. Edge of Sanity. I still haven't seen that one. I hear that one's good. We're getting to a lot of ones that I haven't seen now. Herschel Gordon Lewis. I'm kind of like love hate on his movies. Um, that Last House on the Left. That's a good one. Hellraiser, I can't wait for that box set to come in. Yeah, because I, I think... So I pre-ordered the Hellraiser and the Psycho box sets through Orbit. And they're like all shipping together. Which is, you know, just to save on some shipping. I don't mind, you know, if I'm not the first one to get it, it's fine. You know. Uh, but I just can't wait for them to come in. You know, it's October. So I'll be hyped for that. I just got my Night of the Demons 1 through 3 4Ks, uh, original 4K and then the Blu-rays. And man, I watched the 4K the other night and it's great. Good special features. Okay, so it looks like we're just going... Yeah, it just looks like we're going... Um, through a lot of the movies that we've either seen in 4K or in a box set. Um, we're almost there. Page 19. And here, and another thing, it doesn't, you know, just because a movie's out on 4K, if you don't want it on 4K, live your life, man. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't always have to be kind of like a pissing match to see who's like, I think if you, whatever kind of format you want a film to be on. And if you enjoy it, enjoy your life, man. I don't want, I, you know, <clears throat> just because something's not on 4K doesn't mean it's not worthy, you know? All right, Shocktober part two. <laughs> All right, so these are some titles. These got me a little bit more, uh, interested but then again these would be mostly either upgrades uh to films I already got um i just got that uh dead zone blu-ray so i'm definitely gonna hold off uh because the ice is gonna break 20 bucks for exorcist 3 4k highly recommend that I highly recommend Night of the Demons 1, 2, and 3, whatever, because that Blu-ray is amazing, too. Like, um, it's got great features on it. Anyway, and I don't think, you know, you don't, unless you've really loved a movie, I don't think you necessarily have to upgrade it. But let's say if you're just, like, an okay fan of the movie, and if you had the Blu-ray, I wouldn't, you know, there is way enough extras on that blu-ray disc to get you you know to get you satiated my bro the my bloody valentine that i just have the blu-ray and that blu-ray looks amazing dude so um i think let's see let's see what the price is okay so this one's this one's still going for 40 i'm not going i wouldn't pay that let me am i even in the sale bro Okay, maybe this will help me a little. All right, they got it broken up, huh? 
are so the Universal Horror Collections. I gotta be honest, these are something I don't have. But I got a couple of the Vincent Price ones. 16 bucks. 16 bucks for the single ones, pretty good. Four movies, 37. It's not bad. Tarantula, that's always a good one. The Fly, 34 bucks. I know it's kind of been staying that price, but I always recommend that's a good collection. I don't know why there hasn't been like 18 million special editions of David Cronenberg's The Fly because it's such a freaking amazing movie um, that it's only, it's had its single release and then it's had that Blu-ray release in there. Like, dude, I'm sure, I'm surprised it hasn't had like Crazy Steelbooks, Wasp Woman, Guilty Pleasure. Um, the Tingler, Guilty Pleasure. All right, we're getting into the 60s now. This is pretty good. For the Vincent Price ones, um, I think that's the original in the number three pretty good for 30 bucks i think i paid more than that it wasn't on a sale but it's a pretty good price all right so let's say if you really wanted to go in and get your uh your hammer get a lot of your hammer films i think this would be a good i have the dvds a lot of the dvds of the hammer movies um actually i have that frankenstein creative woman Blu-ray. I actually have a couple of these Blu-rays, yeah. All right. But it looks anywhere from 13 to 17. Looks pretty good. Leech Woman. Hmm. Monster Go Home. If there's any movies that stand out to you, like if I'm going over a movie and it's like like a must see please let me know in the comments because i'll definitely i'll take i'll take your word for it man all right maybe my favorite decade all right <clears throat> so if you're gonna get the friday 13th collection one it should be you should have it <laughs> it's such freaking good set and for $89 like it's so good my must my recommends the ring from arrow ring set from arrow Friday 13th set like they're must haves they're so good it's so well so well done it's made for the fans like perfect I'll, I'll, I'll go on and say it's a 10 out of 10 in my book you know, there could be things that you could, a little nitpicky, like you could want the Crystal Lake Memories documentary in there. But just, man, if you're a Friday the 13th fan, you might already have it. Already had it. So, yeah. Halloween, that's a great release. Um, Black Christmas, so it looks like the 4K is going for 21 So it looks like a lot of these, like the classic horrors are going for a good price. I still think 20 bucks for X62 is pretty high. You know, Phantom of Paradise. I think that's a sleeper. If you get it for 14 bucks, I got the Arrow uh, Region B edition. Carrie, uh, I believe that's, was that a Blu ray? Yes. Yeah, oh, no, I don't know. Is that the Blu ray or the 4K? The Steelbook. Oh, it's 4K. Either way, get that. I actually I got the poster. Mine came with the poster. I came. Got that thing over there. Omen Collection, highly recommend. All these, every single one I talk about, it's gonna be like, yep, get that one, get that one. Um, yes, carry Assault on Precinct 13, it's a great Blu-ray. If you pick it up for 12 bucks, 13 bucks, it's great. Um, Someone's Watching Me, highly recommend that. That's like John Carpenter, right after Halloween. Here's some ones that I still gotta pick up. I don't think I have the town that dreaded sundown for 10 bucks, probably a steal. 
I actually, I actually like that movie Once Bitten, though Jim Carrey right there. So, you know, I might, that might have been in my double feature cart, bro. Um, Nosferatu, great. I like that one a lot. I still haven't seen this movie bug. I know what the William Freakin one is getting a, or has a, another, I think it's imprint that just put it out. I got that in my cart somewhere. I haven't pulled the trigger on it. The Sentinel, that's a great price for that. A lot of these, like if you're going, getting your, uh, just trying to fill out the Blu-ray collection of movies that you don't think will get a 4K, I think you'll get, uh, I think you'll be very happy. I think you'll be able to clean up the Sentinel for 10. Like, I think that's good. I would get the It's Alive trilogy. I don't know. They might put that first one out on 4K. Who knows? Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit for 19. That's a little high still. Piranha 4K is probably pretty good. I don't have any of the Paul Nashi collections. I need to get those. Like, see, I might pick up the Scars of Dracula and then the Horror of Frankenstein. Those would probably go into my cart, 15 each. I don't have Obsession. That's a pretty good price. I don't know why that one stays. Like, even on Amazon, that one stays at around, like, 27. So, yeah, that one stays usually pretty high. Prophecy, Killer Bear movie. Mutant Killer Bear movie. Uh, 50, 16, eh. Can y'all can tell how cheap I am? I would say go for the Tenant. Go for Scare Jessica to Death. Let's Scare Jessica to Death. Two of those classics. I thought Fright was pretty good. I thought it was pretty intense. So it looks like a lot of these are about 15. Ooh. Tales from the Crypt Vault Horror for 10 bucks. That's a pretty good price. 10 bucks for The Legend of Hell House. That's a good one. I like that movie. I gotta thank uh, Rotted Reviews for that one. He did, uh, he did a video with another buddy of ours uh, on his channel about that film and I thought it was really good. So let's get to the 80s. There's definitely going to be some stuff that I don't have in the 80s. All right. So it still looks like a lot of like the brand new ones are still going, are still kind of pricey. 40 bucks for my bloody Valentine 4K. That's, that's pretty crazy, dudes. Um, especially with how good the Blu-ray is, you know. If you're, and like, it's different if you're getting it with like the posters and if you're getting it with like the pins and stuff like that. At least you're getting, you know, that's a lot for just the movie. Um, like Night of the Demons, like, I paid, I think I paid 32 not even on sale through a different outlet. So, yeah, so right now, if you don't have the, the original, like, the original set of Halloweens, like Halloween 2, uh, 3, 4, all going for about 20 bucks. Probably a good time for that. Return of the Living Dead, pretty good, 21. And the, and really, these are if you don't have these movies on Blu-ray. Um, the only thing that I don't like about Scream Factory is that uh, with the Night of the Demons, they, they threw some new extras on there. But um, they just been like, it's just been the upgrade in the... The video, video, you know, the video and audio, um, without any added extra. So it's been hard for me to pull the trigger on it, you know. Mm. That creep show, creep show one's tempting. Like I said, uh, really no extra special features on there. But that Terrorvision video dead, that's a must. I'll get that'll be my third one. Um, Ringu, Friday the 13th, Terrorvision, Video Dead for 10 bucks, three. 
And I really like, I'll recommend this, the Slumber Party Massacre and then number two, just because they're kind of a pain in the butt to find. Um, uh, two and three, we're out of print and we're going for crazy money. I had them both on DVD um, and I still have the third one. I wish they would just release the third one on Blu-ray again. Um, yeah. And I'm waiting for uh, eight eight ninety nine for some uh, sleepaway camp. I feel like that one's gonna probably get a four K soon. Um, but I really wish they would release uh, two and three again because those are some. I think I like the sequels better than I like the original because they're so cheesy, and stupid, and amazing. Um, the fog classic. Fog, 4K, 20 bucks is pretty good. Day of the Dead, man. I, I, am, I am yearning for a 4K of Day of the Dead. It's, I want such a nice, I want such a nice like, collector's box set of it. Um, it will be a day one. Watch Second Sight bust it out. Because it looks like it's easier for companies overseas to get Romero rights than they are over here but man I love Day of the Dead Shocker for 13 pretty good Return of the Living Dead 2 I always recommend as well these, these psycho sets I you know I would I would opt for um, I would opt out for the arrow box set but still I'm sure these are really good releases Silent Night, Deadly Night. See, there is so much of Silent Night, Deadly Night, the first movie in the second movie. So I rarely do I find myself watching Silent Night, Deadly Night part one because watching part two is like watching both of them. Does that make sense? But I do recommend. Alone in the Dark. I, I like that one too. I recommend that. Critters Box Set, recommend. That Dead Ringers release is great. 13 bucks. Recommend that. The Entity. I can't remember who else put that out. I think Eureka put that out. So I think I have the Re Eureka release of that. Deadly Friend. Pick that up. Class of 1984. Pick that up. That's great for 12. Even that Bad Dreams Visiting Hours. I'd pick that up. That's good double feature. You know, I've never seen Witchboard. I need to see Witchboard. Final Exam's pretty good for 10. It's kind of like a cheesy slasher. Man, I love the first Teen Wolf. I really do. I'd pick that up for 12 all day. 13. The Nest for 10 bucks. If you want to put your little creature features on there. If you're trying to build up your creature feature collection. 10 to Midnight, that's a sleeper, man. Charles Bronson, I dug that one. Um, Hell Knight, I even like Hell Knight. I think 20 bucks is way too much. Um, road Games, I can't remember a couple, a couple different companies that put out Road Games. I can't remember which one I have. Um, I know Deadly Blessing, I have the Arrow release of that. Killer Party. Weird movie. I'd pick that up. The uh, April Fool April Fool's Day. It's pretty good. Still a little pricey. Seventeen. See this ghost story. Like, didn't that go in and out of print like two times? I thought that one was out of print, but uh, apparently not. Uh, Terror in the Isles. I don't know what the special features are on there, but sometimes you can get. Um, so the original Universal, I believe it was Universal, release of Halloween 2, the Blu-ray, has that movie Terror in the Isles in it. Sometimes I would opt out for that if you just want to watch that little, uh, little added on movie. Here's some movies like American, American Gothic, still gonna watch. Firestarter I recommend, it's pretty cheap. 
It's Seminoid. I still got to pick that up. I've never seen it. There's some, there's a bunch of, like, I don't have Hellhole Jack's back. Why did the eye? I think I have the arrow release of that. Night of the Creeps. Got to pick that up. Got to pick that up. Unless they're doing a 4K. They might. They might do a 4K of that one. Oh, man, I love that movie. Ghost House Witchery. That's a good double feature. I would pick that up for 11. Y'all see me impatient trying to click. All right, so we got some, we're, we're getting there, y'all. Big, big to do with the child's play, huh? If you haven't picked these up. So I've picked up number one, number two, and number three. 4Ks through Screen Factory, right? And I don't know. So I had the original, like the yellow, do you know what I'm talking about? Like the yellow case, Blu-ray set of all the movies um, as well. So I do have the later uh, films in the in the series. So I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to pick up that Arrow set though. It's also got that documentary in it. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to pull the trigger on that. But I will say, for the first three, Child's Play 1, 2, and 3, through Screen Factory, being that I have them, they're good. They're really good. Exodus 3, I know I talked about, recommend. So, the $120 for Halloween 6, H2O, and Resurrection is a lot, lot of money. Um, and the $70 on sale is way better. Um, so, I don't have these yet. So... I know I'm going to pick them up eventually, but I do have the, I have the old Halloween Blu-ray set. Um, actually, I got that one when it first came out. I remember I pre-ordered it and then got it. So I do have those movies. Um, I know Halloween Resurrection, I think it's got a, more extras on it now. Um, so that's, I think that's the only thing that's kind of tempting for me. The entertainment all day. People on the stairs. $35, 4K, huh? Uh, Demon Knight, funny movie. Uh, Urban Legend, I would actually opt for the 17 bucks that you pay for the original one. I would say just go to, God, who put it out? Uh, is it 88 Films? Is it 88 Films that put out the trilogy? I would say try that. In the Mouth of Madness, pick that up. It's good. I'm I'm sure that one will get a 4K eventually too. Body bags, great price for 12. Uh, Candyman, you can't go wrong. I got the Arrow. Uh, Army of Darkness, that's a, just a great release. Whether you can get the 4K or the Arrow, um, Army of the 4K for 21 is a pretty good price. Um, Lake Placid, that's a fun one. Vampires, that's a fun one. Death becomes her. It's a fun one. I opted out for the Arrow version of Nightbreed. I know they're coming out or already came out with the 4K. Um, but that one had the theatrical and the um, director's cut. I just wanted options. That's why, I, you know, with the uh, Screen Factory, they just did, for the Blu-ray set, they just did the theatrical cut. Serial Mom, Idle Hands, Brain Scan. I got Brain Scan in a weird like double feature with something else. I think it's that one movie, um, that one movie with Bruce Campbell where he's like Bruce Campbell and Angus uh, Scrum, Scrim, Scrum. Dude from Phantom, Phantasm, Tall Man. Bordello Blood, super cheesy. Is it worth 20 bucks? No, but it's worth a watch. I have to get me a copy of The Craft. The Craft is a good movie. I really dug that. I still don't have The Guardian. So that was probably one that I put in my cart for 12. Resurrected, I have that one. It's pretty good. 
Raisin Cane, I have the Arrow version. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I, I got to just pick that up for the collection. Um, not the greatest movie. The uh, the next generation. Not the greatest movie, but... Tales from the Hood. Great. I picked that up for $13.99. Village of the Damned. I think I have that... I think I just have a weird, like, Region B release of that. It's got, like, no special features. It probably doesn't even have, like, subtitles on it. Um, Event Horizon. I know the 4K is out, but I don't know. You'd have to do some uh, comparative. If you're a special features person, whatever, the studio release versus the uh, Screen Factory, whatever has better features on it. Sleepwalkers, not a huge fan. Might just be me. Um, House on Haunted Hill, still a little pricey, 18 bucks. Probably wouldn't pay for that. Dr. Gill, Dig Dr. Giggles, I still got to pick up. 18, I probably still wait. Species. Classic though, Species, I feel like it's classic. I feel like... I feel like my dad rented it all the time and we would watch it. I wonder why. Uh, the Crush is actually kind of a sleeper. Another, like, psychotic, uh, uh, fatal attraction type of movie. Underrated. I remember that was probably, like, my intro to that genre. Uh, that's a good movie. Uh, I do hear that there's some uh, music changes in there. They couldn't get the rights to some of the music, though. Misery, classic. Uh, you might want to opt out for the, the 4K from um, Kino. Graveyard Shift, another, uh, maybe not the best movie, but worth watching. Oh, I keep on forgetting that they had The Mangler. I know Arrow put out The Mangler as well. Fire in the Sky, is that is that the one I'm thinking of? Is that the one with the really like super traumatic end scene? Like that's the movie. The whole movie is like that end scene. Pet Cemetery 2, it's been so long since I've watched it. Um, I need to rewatch Pet Cemetery 2. Pet Cemetery 2. I know uh, Bloodlines comes out this weekend. I'll probably watch that. Uh, 8mm is actually a pretty good movie. There's only one brain dead, bro. Peter Jackson. I'm just joking. I've never seen that one, though. Y'all let me know if it's any good. Single white female, recommend. Ravenous, I hear, is a, like a little bit of a hidden gem. All right, I know we're getting, this is getting long. It's getting around the 45 minutes. All right, so what... Oh, there's a lot of good. <laughs> there's a lot of other good movies. All right, so let's look at the two thousands. Man, trick or treat. Either way, even though it's eighteen bucks, pick that thing up. Silent Hill, freaking love that movie. Not the greatest movie. I love it so much. I love. I'm a big fan of just Silent Hill in general. The video games, the vibes, Dead Silence, recommend, love Mary Shaw. Ginger Snaps, I'd hold off, get the Second Sight uh, trilogy of that. I love the Dawn of the Dead remake. Um, I don't know how much more you're getting from the 4K. Um, because you're getting to the point where it's like, I don't know if Dawn of the Dead was shot on film or if it was shot digitally. Because then you're you're be getting the 2K digital upscaled, if that makes sense. Slither's a great one. 19 bucks though. Eh. The Wreck Collection, highly recommend. House of Wax, highly recommend. Dog Soldiers, I'd get the second sight release. Ghost Ship. I don't know how. What are the special features on here, bro?
All right, so we got some, we got audio commentary and a couple interviews, huh? Is it worth, because you can get Ghost Ship in like a, like a three or four pack with House of Wax and a couple other movies that are just like like uh, catalog titles uh, through the, the companies, like the like a Universal or whoever owns the rights. Um, and I think that's what I have. Um, Land of the Dead, I haven't upgraded because I think I have the old, I think I have the, like the first... Okay. All right, so it looks like we got a couple of new interviews. Might have to upgrade that one eventually. Eight-Legged Freaks. I remember watching that in the movie theater and watching it on HBO back in the day a lot. I'm a big fan. I like David Arquette. Ready to Rumble. Amazing. Drag Me to Hell. Pick it up. I have, like, all these. Valentine. Pick, pick, all, pick up all of these. So underrated. Behind the Mask. The Rise of Leslie Ver Vernon. So good. Don't Care for Cursed. Did they ever put out... Is this the unrated one? Alright, they did put out underrated cut. There was some kind of controversy with that. I can't remember what it was when it first came out. Hills Run Red. The hills run red. Can you tell I'm just talking too much? Uh, bloodbath, bro. Kitsy tapes. Willard. You know, sometimes you just got to go put on some music and then uh, Crispin Glover dance. You're way back into happiness, bro. If you're, if you're, feeling, if you're feeling down, if you just got to get out of this funk that you're in. It's Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover dance. You're way back into happiness, dude. Okay. Evil Dead, pick it up. I'll talk to you, Jane Doe. For 10 bucks, pick that thing up. Baba Duke, I would go for the second site. Uh, Green Inferno, pick it up. Krampus, not Naughty Cut is like when it's like theatrical and naughty, there are like barely any differences. Um, but I'd still pick it up. House of Jack Built, I'd pick that up. Raw, I would go for the second site. The editor, I thought was all right. Wasn't too bad. I still got to watch Beyond the Gates. Heard that one was pretty good. And I still got to pick up the Happy Death Days. I don't have either one. I've seen the first one, and I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of different movies called Ghost Stories. So I don't know which one that is. Alright, so these are a lot of movies that I actually haven't seen. Um... Let's Be Evil, I've heard about. Contracted, I heard about. So these are like the IFC branding ones. Okay. All right, it looks like we've kind of reached the end, folks. It's a freaky, I'd pick up. Slumber Party Massacre remake, I thought was re or like a reboot or whatever. I thought it was really funny. I thought it was definitely worth a watch. Like anything that you want out of like turn off your brain, like campy slasher with like today's generation, like something like it really felt like it, it wanted to pay homage to the eighties and all that stuff. So I thought it was really good. Like you know, turn off your brain. Like, I'd throw the thing on, like, if I was cleaning the apartment or something, um, I'd throw something like that on. Just to keep in the background. Have a couple laughs. You know? Okay. I think that's it, y'all. Um, I know this video is going to be long as hell. I'm so sorry about that. But, uh, hopefully you could see if there's anything in here that caught your eye. Um, yeah, I think Screen Factory, if you spend over a hundred bucks... Um, they'll do the t-shirt. Uh, I think I got the t-shirt from maybe not last year, but two years ago. Um, yeah, you know, I love you. Tell people love them. Give people hugs. Don't be horrible like us, man. Don't be horrible like us. Have a good day.